Quite heartbreaking. Now, staying with education matters, starting school early seems normal to many. But among the Rendile community, most people never got a chance to, to go to school. Now, this is changing slowly as the women have started embracing adult education in the hope of improving their lives. Beldin Waliola was in Cor Marsabit for this story. Learning is a journey of a thousand miles that begins with simple steps like learning vowels, alphabets and even numbers. It may seem simple to those who began school while young, but to the Rendile women here in Kor Marsabit, their quest to gain literacy is a pursuit of a lifetime. Ra, 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 re, 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 re. It is about noon. The sun is at its merciless hot, reigning supreme on the baked lands. Under an acacia tree, a class is on. Their laps are their tabletops, while the dry earth is the collective seat. For these Rendile women, the seemingly endless dog days of summer are not dampening their quest to quench the thirst for education. Their home attires and colorful beads, anklets and necklaces add the beauty to the sessions and an eye-catching diversion to the grueling classes. As one gets closer, the repetition of Kiswahili words gives the session a chorus of innocence, like that of children in a lower primary class. This is a unique school. Chule, Chule, Dawati, Dawati, Furaha. The students are not children, rather they are mothers with children. Hence, they are allowed to bring the young ones along and even breastfeed while learning. Some children will break into cries due to hunger, boredom or just seeking attention from their mothers. But all these distractions does not stop the class from going on. After all, children will always be children. The women don't shy away from participating by asking or even answering questions. Their confidence is out of this world. Teachers here are dedicated to ensuring their community builds illiteracy despite the social odds. It may seem simple, but this community is marginalized. Education here is a luxury. Being a pastoralist community, these women were married off at an early age, some as young as 13 years. A full class session takes around 40 minutes, just like in a normal school. Classes often begin in the afternoons when the students, I mean parents, are done with their domestic chores. They first begin with Rendile classes, where they are taught how to read and write the local language. The Bible is core in the teachings. They are taught how to read and interpret scriptures, and through this, they can easily transition into reading, counting, and writing in Rendile. Teaching them Rendile is also a tact to ensure the language and culture does not die in the near future. We come from different villages, but we are here. We are one. Even when we live here after class, we walk while discussing what we have learned today. After a year or two, they will graduate to Swahili classes, as most members of this community do not speak the national language fluently. Despite being adults, they use lower grade books as they begin their learning journey. These classes are organized by the Tirim organization, which is in charge of Tirim Christian schools in Kor Marsabit County.
the classes end with a beautiful Christian song. The ladies later disperse in groups, all rushing home to prepare dinner for their families and set their school going children and themselves for the next day. The zeal and determination of these women to improve their knowledge is admirable. I am Nyuki. Nyuki, who you? Tapwani ni kwa wingi? Nyuki, Henry Hirkena Fofen is a literacy coordinator at TIRIM. His job is to plan and align all literacy programs at TIRIM and also opening new literacy classes in different villages. He tells us how Swahili classes came about. literacy class. So graduate. So from there, how any other option you have So the TIRIM project uh, another another level and by the post literacy whereby post literacy is from changing from one language to another language that is from rendile to swahili class in swahili they can read fluently but the only problem they have ni they know they can read but they don't know the meaning of that word so now uh, what we are doing now is ni kufunza the meaning of those uh, words in Kiswahili. He shares his experience of teaching his community. When you see these uh, students, they are all young. They are young. How can we have opportunity to attend your class when they are still young? Uh, in primary or nursery, they have never went. Our Jawa is four corners of class. Rendile being a patriarchal community, men play a big role in their women and children choices including pursuit of education most of these women have to get permission from their husbands and male relatives to attend the literacy classes so engaging the men before inviting the women to school is key i tell them your information so that that information how when you to their wives the village then after that after one day or two days ah uh, when you want to respond we to not pay a responsibility to them then what can respond the to the men if they are ready ah uh, when you want to kubali so there is no reason ah uh, mama wana kata because they know what wana hitaji yo masomo we we encourage them to keep their life uh, their, 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 their culture but give us their children so that as they keep on being nomadic we can have their children in our boarding school and that does not make them to leave their culture but we give them an optional uh, way of life after two years of learning rendile and one and a half years of learning Swahili, these adult students graduate and are awarded certificates what motivates them to complete this program is that during graduation every woman is given a good as a sign of accomplishment this inspires them since livestock is one of the many prized riches that are mostly owned by men we have uh, exams so after every term wanafanya kuna hiyo inaitwa eye opener saizi tume saizi tumefunga tukifungua first week lazima we test them kama wamesahau ama nini hiyo tuna record then mid term wanafanya then end term with all these classes going on, where are the men? Men, they are not staying at home. Most of them, they are going to move na animals. And the reason as to why I have to party men sana is that the most people ambayo unapatana na nyumbani ni wawa mamatu. Nigeria Bolo is a Rendile literacy teacher. She completed her Rendile classes four years ago and is currently undertaking Swahili classes. Though not fluent in Swahili, hers is a journey of sharing knowledge. One of her joys is that she is now able to go through her children's homework without struggling. Before, she used to seek help just to know how well her children were performing in school. 
The other challenge these women were facing is reading their clinic cards and understanding doctor's prescriptions. Daktari kama mepati ni dawa, anasema yende kunye dawa siku moja mara mbili. The women's economic knowledge has also improved. Most of them did not know item prices, could not count the balance given by shopkeepers, and could not keep track of the debt they owed. Now, that is all in the past. One of the success stories of the literacy program is Dorcas, who is seen as the beacon of light in the village. She has gone through the literacy program and graduated from the Rendile classes. She now tackles mathematics well. She's well equipped and running her business. We met her in her shop on a market day where she makes quite a fortune. She couldn't keep records previously. Now she knows how to write the names of those who owe her and can even send money to her bank account with ease. Anapea Deni anandika pesa ya kiasi hii anandika lakini ninajua tu the mother of seven is successfully educating her children with two already in university. Her parents did not know how powerful education is. That's why she didn't go to school. Now she's literally writing the wrongs that hampered her life. This literacy program has its history in core. The literacy program was started by a missionary um, who was linguistic, who have come here and wrote down all the alphabets of Rendile. The intention was for the people here to read and write, but also read the Bible. But once they started reading the Bible, that became a game changer. And the literacy now is not only for reading the Bible, but it has enlightened the community. They can now, the ladies who have been following their husbands, now can stay behind. They started business and they can transact the business uh, in a very well recorded manner. Pastor David Gargule, who is spearheading the Tirim Trust, a Christian organization working in core, says the whole idea was to ensure the community is empowered to reduce poverty rates that ride on illiteracy. The idea was to give uh, the community, the people who have never went to school, an opportunity of uh, getting education while they are adults. As the sun sets in core, the Tirim Trust organization hopes it does not set with these women's dreams and that most Swahili lessons will be offered to more women. The organization is banking on more funding to enable the women expand their horizons and travel far and beyond core while growing economically. Our vision is to empower these people so that they can know how to read and write so that they can be they can they can help themselves through reading they can keep their records they can know what's happening in the world what's happening in, the, in, in kenya it may not appear easy on them but the sheer determination of these women to achieve literacy justifies the means Bildin Waliaula in Kor Marsabit. Ahead in sports, drifter Ahmad Daham concludes his tour of Kenya. Keep it KTN News.